Hello everyone, and welcome to this YouTube video about Stoicism and gaming. In this video, we will explore the concept of Stoicism and how it relates to the world of gaming, specifically the game Journey, a game that has been praised as a masterpiece of art and storytelling. So, if you are a gamer who is looking for a new perspective on the gaming world, or just someone who is interested in Stoicism and philosophy, then this video is for you. Let's start by defining what Stoicism is. Stoicism is a philosophy that originated in ancient Greece, and it has been practiced by many great philosophers throughout history, including Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus. It teaches us that we should focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. It is about living a life of virtue and accepting whatever comes our way with grace and resilience. Now how does Stoicism relate to gaming? Well, think about the last time you played a game. Did you get frustrated when you couldn't pass a level or defeat a boss? Did you get angry when someone killed your character in a multiplayer game? These emotions are natural, but they are also the opposite of what Stoicism teaches us. Instead of getting upset, we should accept the situation and focus on what we can control. This is where Journey comes in. Journey is a beautiful game, but it's all about the journey, not the destination. You play as a robed figure walking through the desert, trying to reach a mountain in the distance. Along the way, you encounter different obstacles and challenges that test your skills and your patience. Impermanence. Let's start with the impermanence of life. In the game, you encounter different characters who are on their own journey, and you help them along the way. But eventually, you have to say goodbye to them and continue on your own path. And unlike most games, you die only once. But rather than some cheap metaphor for failure, it's something heavier than that. A crescendo, a moment in time, an act of self-annihilation. This is a reminder that nothing in life is permanent and we should appreciate the moments that we have while we still have them. Wisdom. The journey also teaches us wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to understand what is good and bad for us, what is within our control and what is not. In journey, we have very little control over our environment or our companions. We cannot change the weather, the terrain, or the enemies that attack us. We also communicate with other players, but only through musical notes and symbols. What we can control is our own actions and reactions. We can choose to explore or ignore the runes that hint at the history of this world. We can choose to help or ignore other players who cross our path. We can choose to enjoy or resent the journey itself in the same way we do in life. Focus. The game encourages us to focus on what we can control by rewarding us with simple pleasures, beautiful visuals, haunting music, and graceful movements. It also discourages us from focusing on what we cannot control by making it irrelevant. There are no scores, there are no levels, no achievements. The only goal is to reach the mountain. This reminds me of a quote by Epictetus, one of the most famous Stoic philosophers. Don't seek for everything to happen as you wish it would, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will. Then your life will flow well. By accepting what happens as it will, we free ourselves from anxiety, frustration and disappointment. We also open ourselves up to gratitude, curiosity and wonder. Moderation. This leads us to another virtue. Moderation. Moderation is the ability to balance our desires and avoid excesses. In Journey, we have very few desires. We want to reach the mountain. We want to survive and we want to connect with others. 
But none of these desires are overwhelming or harmful. We don't crave more power. We don't crave more wealth or fame. We don't hoard resources. And we don't compete with others. We simply don't harm anyone. The game teaches us moderation by limiting our abilities. We can only walk, jump, glide, sing and recharge our scarf. In the game, the scarf represents our energy and it grows longer as we collect glowing symbols. But it also shrinks when we encounter cold weather or enemies. The longer our scarf, the higher we can jump and glide, but also the more vulnerable we become. The game also teaches us moderation by showing us the consequences of excess. The ruins in the game reveal that an ancient civilization collapsed because they abused their power source, which led them to war and destruction. Their greed corrupted their harmony, and their pride blinded their wisdom. They lost their balance, and they paid the price. In conclusion, Stoicism and gaming might seem like two completely unrelated topics, but they actually have a lot in common. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot, which is an important mindset to have when playing games or in life. The Journey is a great example of a game that teaches us about the journey, not the destination, and also the impermanence of life. So next time you play a game, try approaching it with a stoic mindset and see how it changes your experience. Thank you for listening.